Tuesday Tips for Leaders of Volunteers and I am Dana Litwin and today kind of a serious subject. We're talking about a total life cycle of volunteers as they come and go with your agency and also a note on some things to consider uh, at the end of a volunteer's life when to do a memorial, how to do communications around that, and some administrative stuff that if you haven't had to deal with that situation, uh, I hope you haven't, so I hope, hope that you get prepared for something that you don't have to deal with, but uh, this has been quite a year and a half. <laughs> in the pandemic times and there's been a lot of life changes and a lot of loss of life and that's a sad reality of our work as leaders of volunteers so from my experiences with this topic as an administrator it's important to understand that there might be some automated communications if you're using a volunteer management software system or a marketing CRM or an automatic email program or Hootsuite or something like that. If someone passes away uh, and they're going to be memorialized by the agency or their team wants to do something, it can be really off-putting if their family members or their email accounts are still getting messages like, don't forget to turn your uniform in or things like that. So being sensitive to starting to personalize messages that maybe have been automated for someone um, when they've reached the end of their life is really, really important as that status changes in your database. So that's a very technical thing that can get overlooked uh, in the work that we're doing, especially in times of grief or great change. Now, one of the things socially and culturally to do within the agency is if someone who passes away uh, depending on the role and the position with the agency, how long they've been with you, there may very well be an ask by their team members, by their peers, um, by other, even other departments that work closely with that person to have some sort of service or memorial or celebration of life. And again, uh, you may already have some processes and procedures and policies in place for that, but it's important to keep in mind uh, what the person wants, what their family wants, if they want you know, big celebration or something private, or they don't want any public announcements at all. Just kind of making sure to check in with some of these technical aspects of communication and how arrangements are handled is really important at such a sensitive time. It could be that your agency works in healthcare or hospice or end of life care or something else where there's already a lot of expertise around uh, death rituals and end of life and grief counseling and things like that, then maybe you've got some expertise to offer other agencies. So I also encourage if it's not in your mission to deal with things like this on a regular basis, who else in your community uh, are you already partners with or that you can partner with to kind of cross pollinate or get uh, some outreach and some grief counseling if that seems necessary, if you lose a member of your team. Another thing that can come up around the passing of a longtime volunteer is volunteers are also often donors. We know that's a big overlap in a Venn diagram of how they're supporting or serving a mission and an agency. And there needs to be really, really close communication with development or marketing or fundraising, not only to coordinate if there is any celebration of life or services uh, for the person's passing, but again, to make sure that communications are aligned and there isn't something that can feel really insensitive to family members or peers about, um, you know, a fundraising message or an automated email still going out to that person. So when we're dealing with different cycles of life and career and volunteers and the people and the whole teams that we work with, we really want to keep these sensitive social connections uh, really at the forefront of whatever's going on and also give people grace for bereavement leave and time for just life to change and priorities to change. If someone passes away in a volunteer's family and they need to start to care for other people in the household or work more or their schedule changes or they just can't volunteer with you anymore. Having a lot of grace and compassion around when people need to shift their time and their priorities and where they're devoting their attention at any given moment. So I hope that these Tuesday tips have been helpful. It's not an easy subject, but it's something that, you know, all of us face at some point. And I hope that you join me for more Tuesday tips and priceless advice next time and be well.